Hey everybody, my name is Marco Nguyen and I help people stop losing customers, but it's not what you but it's not what you might think. And today I'm going to talk about uh, Netflix um, and um, and their journey on how to hunt for cost cutting from cloud computing and corporate swap swag and what you what they can do about it. But before we get started, uh, uh, if you're serious about building a valuable business and keeping your customers with you as long as possible, check out my new class as uh, classwithmike.com. And uh, clients come to me because they want to reduce churn, increase their customer lifetime value, to generate more revenues, and ultimately make their company more valuable. So I saw this article from the Wall Street Journals, and uh, you know when I read further, I you know so I just realized that you know Netflix just lost like uh, nearly a mi one million subscribers in June, and they had to resort to like the boring tricks such as cost cuttings, and and um, you know tighten their belt and don't you know, spend a lot of stuff, and I think. That's that's okay. I mean, you know, all of the cost cutting, all of the classic cost cutting, boring stuff, um, works. You know, for many uh, businesses, and it may work for them. But from the perspective of um, uh, from a number one world, uh, you know, um, uh, customer retention expert, I saw differently. I saw opportunity, and in fact, I you know, from my calculation. I was able to uh, I think I can potentially help them generate um, you know over 300 million dollars so let's get started you know how, how we can uh, how I can come up with that um, numbers so uh, first of all you know this is the spreadsheet that I put together okay so as you can see this is all my this is my first strategy that I'm, I'm, I'm going to talk to you so the first strategy is about the lost activations and by using this strategy they can generate about six million dollars and I'll walk you through in, in a little bit uh, and as you can see the assumption they have the total customers of Netflix about 221 million subscribers and so they recently lost about a million um, subscribers and the lowest price is the lowest pricing tiers of Netflix I put like 9.99 so ten dollars and the lost activation percentage, you know, assume, and assuming I can bring back about 20% of their lost subscribers. And the upsell percentage is the percentage I'm assuming when I uh, bring back those, those lost customers, I'm able to sell them on like, uh, like one upsell offers, you know, and the ratio is 20%. So the offer, the upsell offer I'm going to offer potentially is selling the futures, which means that uh, if they pay for the entire years uh, at you know at the very ten dollars, uh, they get two months off. Like the very uh, the plain vanilla offers that a lot of SaaS companies um, are using. So let's see how the number adds up. So for the lost activation, um, a million lost, and put all of the numbers, and uh, so a million lost customers with a lost activation percentage, reactivation percentage of 20%, and at $10, I was able to bring back about $2 million. Now out of 200,000 um, subscribers that I was able to bring back, what if I offer them uh, like the 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 upsell the futures of you know of um, of a hundred dollars total and and let's say as twenty percent of them would buy so you they would get another four million dollars on top so total six million dollars from the effort of doing loss reactivations okay so what's the second strategy the second strategy is that I'm going to um, so. We're going to offer the selling the futures to the entire uh, Netflix base. So the total customer is about two hundred twenty-one thousand that we have over here, right? That we have over here, and let's say one percent um, of um, of the total subscriber would buy the selling the futures, which means that uh, we offer to. Um, uh, to offer subscribers to buy 12 months worth of Netflix for $100 instead of $120. So they got two months off, right? So 1% um, 
out of uh, so one percent would buy so one percent of two hundred twenty one millions and would you multiply that by 100 so you immediately get so this is the formulas I use um, so 1% and uh, multiply by the total subscribers and multiply by the um, um, the offers of selling the, of selling the future for $100 so overall they got immediately got 221 million dollars 221 million dollars if one percent uh, would buy what if like you know one like 0 0.1 percent would buy they would get 22 million dollars okay so between 22 million dollars to 221 million dollars that's that's quite a lot all right so let's go to the next strategy the next strategy is that um, is based on the asset that Netflix has. So what, what does Netflix ha have? It has all of the relationship with um, actors, actresses, and uh, the movie title, they make, they make it the right. So wh what I'm proposing is that, that we will be creating something called the meet and greet offers. So at $2,000 a pop, the meet and greet offer is basically an invitation to movie opening event. Like I know that Netflix has a lot of titles, and what if we invite them? You know, um, for new, for new title, invite. Um, you know, send invitation to, um, um, to the customer base. Uh, at, you know, uh, say, hey, would you like to come to the movie premiere opening night? Uh, for let's say, you know, the sweet game or whatever, something like that, right? So assuming only zero per zero point one percent would buy it. 0.1% would buy. So, uh, assuming we only focus on the USA market, the USA market has about 73 million subscribers, and uh, at 0.1%, uh, so at $2,000 a pop, they would get about $146 million. $146 million. So, let, let me add up um, the the potential uh, revenues from those three strategies so you got six million dollars over here from loss activation right and then you got 221 million dollars from selling the futures one time selling the futures and you got a potential 146 million dollars so total 707 I'm sorry 373 million dollars 300 and 73 million dollars can you imagine what would netflix do with that i mean with that with an amount of potential revenue and imagine if we can if we imagine if, if if they can only you know due to the the risk of um, executions and so on and so forth what if we we could only generate one tenth of that so one tenth of that that would be what you know 37 million dollars 37 million dollars that's still a lot of money that's still a lot of money to to uh let me see if we get it right well, 37 million dollars so either you got 37 million dollars at the very minimum or 373 million dollars which one would you choose you know i would choose both <laughs> so anyway um to three strategy uh, that i would do to help Netflix generate $373 million. Uh, first one, lost reactivations, um, $6 million. Selling the futures, uh, selling one year worth of Netflix access for uh, for 10 months, uh, two months off, that, that would generate $221 million. And selling is, is the, the exclusive access, uh, the meet and greet, uh, invitation to the premiere uh, opening night um generating at that at the, so generating 146 million dollars total 373 million dollars for netflix wow so um if you if you uh, were interested in um launching the loss activations um check out uh the, the uh the uh churnbusterkit.com where I share with you all of the campaigns for you to launch uh, lost reactivations and also the 
uh, cash windfall for you to sell the futures. Um, there's a lot of uh, campaign that you can use, uh, but check out uh, JohnBusterKit.com for you to learn more about how to implement those strategies.